we got to boil down all of this stuff into a workable plan. And I foresee about three parts of this plan. We got to get the base up. First thing, get the base up, five percent or more. All right, that'll be recommendation number one. Number two is we've got to have a system. I wanted to throw the whole salary schedule out and have a minimum and a maximum, and you pay them whatever you want, whatever size school. The superintendents don't quite want to bite that low fall. They are afraid of that. They're afraid they'll negotiate principal for principal. But this package will take then a training month. So we've got to have three parts. It's got to have between, I think, 30 and $50 million to do what we need. Now, we don't have that many principals, 2,500 or so. We can do that. You get the assistant principals up above the teacher pay. At least make more than they're making, and that's more than many of you assistant principals are making. So what we want to do is to get a package that we can sell jointly as a budget provision. So in the next very few weeks, we're going to be working to tie this together to make a plan that will uh, make sense that we can afford and that we can pay principals this bonus money whatever the superintendent thinks they ought to have whatever size school if you can turn it around on four or five areas tie it somewhat to the evaluation model but not totally you know there's a lot of intrinsic things you can't measure there but anyway get those included can you improve test scores as far as growth goes can you change the morale in the school can you get a dirty school clean can you get the uh, community behind you? If you can build those things, folks, you can run a school, and you can run one way. And if you're not gonna have a good school, you don't pay the principal. We're low, low, low in principal pay. And I believe we can sell uh, this package that we can all kind of agree on. But I just wanted to tie it into what we're trying to do right after this meeting. We'll be meeting uh, right after the meeting. But uh, I, I can't wait to hear from Buddy and Shirley. And, and I certainly uh, concur, uh, if not 100%, with just about all of what Senator Tillman said. Uh, I think the starting place, unarguably, is that we need to go up in terms of the level of compensation. Uh, but as some of you have pointed out already, in the effort to avoid unintended consequences, uh, we, we're going to have to think carefully about how we do uh, performance bonuses, how do we distinguish between high needs and uh, low needs, how do we uh, deal with the, the example that was given of Franklin County versus Wake County, and if you want to keep a principal in the school where they are most needed, which is not to say that Wake County doesn't have its own needs, but how should we uh, do a better job of dealing with those things? So, I hope that, uh, I, I suspect that this is going to be a multi-year uh, process uh, and uh, for that reason, it both uh, immediately and as we go forward, I look forward to uh, continuing to get input from all of you as to how we do the, the detail, the specifics, uh, get into the weeds. If you